Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Bar None 11970. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to check out my video, and I hope you guys have been well. Um, the one thing I want to talk about in this video, and I'm going to make it relatively short, which for me is under a half hour, so we'll see if we can get underneath that time period. Um, I've been really realizing more and more, you get what you give, what you put out, you will receive. How you feel is how the world around you is going to generally come back to you. Since the world is made and the universe is made of nothing more than electric particles, electricity, and held together through magnetism, it's like the old saying says, you get what you give. And I've been realizing the more you enjoy life, the more you try and make the best out of any scenario, the better things ultimately end up. And it becomes something that you have to change from a belief system into a knowing type of system. In other words, you're not going to sit there and say, I believe something's going to happen. You have to know it. You have to understand or comprehend that things will always work out for the better. Now, that doesn't mean the outside world is all of a sudden going to be full of sunshine and lollipops. There are going to be evil people in the world. There are going to be evil situations in the world. There are going to be bad things that happen. But you can't control that. What you can control is how you react to the world and how you allow the outside world to affect you. Because after all, it is all a choice. Whether people want to believe in that or not, whatever experience you want to continue to live with or start to live with, you're going to base it on whatever you think is going to feel the most resonating with you. I've chosen to become more positive, to try and see things in a better outlook. I don't want the doom and gloom. I don't want the everything's going to go bad. I don't want to feel sorry for myself or allow a few bad apples to spoil my tree. And I've been a lot more positive lately. I've been doing a lot more soul searching, a lot more of realizing that I ultimately have control over my life. And I want all of you that watch this for the right reasons to know you have that same ability. And again, that doesn't mean all of a sudden everything's going to be wonderful. Things can get difficult, but you cannot control that. But you can control how you feel about it, how you look towards it. Instead of saying, woe is me. Instead of saying, this never happens to me. You could turn around and say things like, it may not have ever happened to me before, but I'm going to make sure now it does. Or just because it hasn't happened doesn't mean it can't happen. It's getting your mind to think in different ways. And there's an old saying that says, if you enjoy what you do, you will never work a day in your life. And that's one of the reasons why I got out of the corrupt system as much as I can. It's one of the reasons why I took my money out of banks. That's one of the reasons why I don't work for other people. That's one of the reasons why I try and shop more locally. It's one of the reasons why I make my own organic products like soaps, my own toothpaste, my own lip balm, my own deodorant. And I happen to have turned that into a business as well. Which, by the way, if anybody's interested in some of that stuff, I'll post the, uh, the link in the description below if you want to check out my web store. But I even have videos that teach you how to make them yourself. It's becoming more independent, but doing it and enjoying it. And one of the things I started getting back into recently that I haven't done in a long time, probably since the mid-90s, is I actually started collecting some comics again. Now, those of you who have been following my channel since my old channel, Barnon11967, you know that um, I sold a bunch of my very expensive comics um, back in 2011 to get some gold and silver. I don't regret it. I, I'm very happy with what I did. But basically, I stopped collecting at that point. And a lot of my books were put away. And I haven't really looked at them for a long time. And it wasn't until recently, and forgive me, I, I'm, I'm not sick. It's just very cold in the house, so I feel a little, a little stuffy, so forgive me. Um, I went through some of the old trunks of some of my old comics, and I just remembered like some of these books I remember back in the 80s and 90s when I was collecting them I remember where I got them I remember even though I had thousands of books that I remembered each one and it was so much fun going through them again that I actually started collecting a little bit again and the funny part is 
before I started collecting, I was like, oh, wouldn't it be nice if only I had the money to be able to make some of these purchases? And because I had such passion in it, all of a sudden, I started selling more of my organic products and some of my organ pyramids. And all of a sudden, I started having a little extra income where I can actually go and enjoy some of the things that I used to love doing, which was one of them was collecting comics because I've always invested in things since I was a kid. Anywhere from Star Wars figures to gold and silver to the comic books to action figures, you name it, I collected it. And even when I was a child, it was such fun to do. But I knew that if I held on to these things, eventually it would have some kind of value. And a lot of them do. So um, my thing is I want to teach people is don't always be afraid. Don't always sit there and say, oh, well, I can't do this or I can't afford it. And things are struggle bad and I'm struggling. We all struggle. And I've been struggling along with you guys. But if you put your passion behind things, if you put your excitement into doing something, creating something, even investing in something, you'd be amazed at how all of a sudden all the puzzle pieces just start to fit together. Just when you thought, oh, I can't do it. If you go into, I will do it, it you'd be amazed at how much it starts happening and it all falls into place. So I wanted to show you uh, just some of the comics that I pulled out of my old, um, my trunks and everything, and a couple of that I've bought recently. I'm not going to show any of the graded ones. I might do that in another video if people are interested. But I'm going to just show some that I actually bought either at cover price when they first came out or a couple of dollars over. And if you collect comics, you will know the ones that I'm going to show. So I'm going to show probably about 10 of them just to kind of give an idea. Now, this of the older ones is one of the more expensive ones that I paid for. Now I paid a whole $4 for this. Let me straighten it. Uh, this is Amazing Spider-Man 252, which if you know anything about that, that is the first appearance of Spider-Man's black costume, which later becomes Venom. Here's one. Amazing Spider-Man number 361, which is the first appearance of this guy, Carnage. I bought this. I have probably about five or six of these. I bought these for cover price, which you can see is a dollar twenty-five. Uh these are selling up to two to three hundred online. Here's another one I paid a dollar fifty four when it first came out, because I was collecting a lot in the eighties and nineties. New Mutants one hundred, which is the first appearance of X Force. Now I know this is going to be a little bit different than what I normally talk about, but for me it's fun. And maybe this might get inspire other people to think, you know what? Let me go back into something that I used to collect. Let me go enjoy something. Let me stop with the whole doom and gloom and start seeing things from more positive points of view. Because, like I said, you don't have to all of a sudden say, oh, well, you know, I shouldn't be paying attention to what's going on in the world. But you shouldn't sit there saying, oh, I'm going to sit in my house and I'm just going to have a, a gun in this hand and I'm going to have some MREs in this hand and I'm just going to sit there waiting for the apocalypse which apocalypse is nothing more than an unveiling, if you know the definition. So the idea is to have fun, still be aware of your surroundings, still protect yourself for problems because it doesn't always have to be a nuclear bomb or some kind of major disaster. Sometimes it could be something as simple as snow that accumulates on the power, the power wires, causing a tree to fall on them and taking out your power for a week. Little things like that. So being prepared is okay, but you don't always have to think it's the end of the world. So let me show a couple of others. This one I'm very happy that I found. Uh, if you know anything about this, this is New Mutants number 98. I bought this at cover price. These are going right now graded up, go up to about 11,000, uh, 11, I wish, $1,100. But this alone, going on eBay for between three and $500. And I have never taken this out of the package, so this is like near mint condition. This is the first appearance of this guy, Deadpool, which is going to be a movie coming out, I think, next year. Uh, here's another one. And I used to get, when I used to go to comic conventions when I was a uh, teenager back in the uh, mid to late 80s, I used to get some autographed. So this is the first appearance of Cable, New Mutants 87. And as you can see right there, it is autographed by Rob Liefeld. Um, I don't have any certificates of authenticity because I actually went and got these signed. Here's another one. And it's funny. I actually met Todd McFarlane back in the 90s. Not a very friendly guy. He was definitely a little stuck up in my opinion. But I got him to sign two of my books. 
Uh, this one is Amazing Spider-Man 298. This is his first work. Cameo appearance of Venom. Well, Eddie Brock, which is the person that becomes Venom, had um, Todd McFarlane sign this. And again, I bought, paid that for cover price. This is one of my better ones that I paid cover price for. I paid $1.50. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 300, which is the first full appearance of Venom. And I had Todd McFarlane sign this book. Now, don't get me, don't like this $85. That's how much I was selling it or trying to sell it about 10 years ago. I'm glad no one bought it because right now, this book signed probably goes for about seven to nine hundred dollars ungraded, and I'm going to be getting these graded soon. Now, these I just bought. Um, actually, no, before I get into that, this one I paid a total of thirty dollars for. This is Avengers number 57, which is the first appearance of Vision. Uh, if you know about the new Avengers movie, it's rumored that he's going to be in it with uh, Ultron. So that should be interesting. Now, these are some of the ones I just picked up recently. Just three of them I'm going to show you. I don't want to go too crazy. But uh, this one I had was one of the books that I sold. It was one of the first ones I bought. I paid $10 for it back in the day. But this one I spent um, a little bit more than $10 for. But it was actually autographed. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 23, which is the third appearance of the Green Goblin. But it was signed by Stan Lee. And I have, from PSA DNA, the um, authenticity for that signature. But uh, this one I bought because it was kind of nostalgic of what I had, some of the collections that I sold. So this was one of the ones that I sold. This one's actually in much nicer condition. And it's also signed by Stan Lee, which, you, if you know, he's in his 90s. It's not going to be too much longer. And then he stops signing for, you know, stops signing comic books, so it was an interesting thing to have. This one, I paid a total of $50 for. Don't let the price tag fool you, that's what it came in. This is X-Men number 6, and I won this on eBay, thank God, for Insomnia. Because at 3, 4 in the morning, nobody's up and nobody's bidding. So if you want to get some good deals on eBay from local people that are trying to sell stuff, Three or four in the morning is the best time to go shopping. And if you're trying to sell, don't sell at those times. But yeah, so, I mean, it's not any significant thing. Just having number six for me is nice. And then this one, this is Avengers number 55. Now, if you know anything about that, that is uh, the first appearance of um, Ultron. Now, if you know the new movie that's coming out, it's the Age of Ultron. So I'm going to turn around, wait for the movies to come out, get these graded, because these are all in near mint condition. Some of the older ones aren't, but they're still in pretty good, decent condition. But the, the newer ones I got, newer, that's the sad part. These are over 20 years old. But I'm going to get those graded and see what I can get for them. So I'm showing those not to kind of show off or anything, because I mean, they're, they're not $10,000 books. I don't have Superman number one or anything, I wish. But it's to kind of show the excitement of if you enjoy what you do, you'd be amazed at how many things just go into place. So keep checking what's going on. Stop watching the mainstream media. Keep being alert. Keep getting your gold and silver if you believe that is a insurance policy for your future. Be aware of the surroundings. Get your food and water and your supplies just in case for any kind of scenario. But do some fun things. Don't take life so seriously and take it from me. Those of you who've been watching my channel for a while know that at one point, yeah, I had some situations going on in my life with my father passing away and uh, other situations that were going on. But you have to get to a point that you have to enjoy life. You still be aware, still be full of knowledge, but just enjoy things and stop being afraid that, oh, I can't do something because... I don't have the money or I don't have the ability or no one will agree with it. Do it because you want it. Don't worry about the money because believe it or not, things will come to you if you're positive. You just have to just realize that you have the power to change everything. It may not happen overnight, but if you stick with it and know that even though bad things might happen, even though people will try and bring you down and other people will try and scare you and stop you, it'll only work if you let them. 
And believe me, I've had to learn that the hard way. So I'm going to go put on the heater or turn on my fireplace. I have a little um, wood-burning stove because I'm freezing right now. And uh, I apologize for sounding like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, but it's basically – it's colder in my house right now than it actually is outside. So I'm going to go fix that. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate the support. Uh, favoring it and sharing it is always another good thing that helps. And if this is the first video you've ever watched of mine – Please, I would love for you to hit subscribe and join the Varnon Nation. Uh, don't forget, I have a Facebook page. If you guys want to join it, it's facebook.com slash Varnon11970. I'll post a link in below. And uh, check out some of my Oregon pyramids and my organic products that I sell. And if you're interested in any of them, please, supporting a local business is something we all appreciate. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And thanks for watching. Peace.